Okay, now in our previous class, um, we cover uh, how to find the stiffness matrix for a, a bar, and then we arrive at the uh, stiffness matrix of this one. This is a very big uh, four times four uh, K matrix. Uh, K equal to AE over L, C square, CS minus CS square, and so on. All right, and symmetry, it means is that it will be the same as this side, yeah? It just reflect to another side. So this is the diagonal mirror. You will, you will reflect to another side. So today we're going to look at uh, the assembly of uh, a bar, then it will call a truss, okay? All right. So this, this pattern, we're going to look at uh, the example today. Okay. And we have seen uh, this example, oh, we have seen this example in our previous lecture also. Okay. Now, today we're going to look at assembly of a bar. And when you assembly all the bar, like this one, um, we call it a plane truss, right? A plane truss. So this is a 2D system. Um, maybe next week we will, we will use the ANSYS, or show you using ANSYS to the prove the results. Eh? Uh, on the truss system. So, yeah, so the rest you can read from the screen. So as long as when when uh, we talk about trust, T-R-U-S-S, trust, then it means it's a assembly of uh, a bar element, right, with the pin and all the constraint, right? Um, uh, one of the criteria is that um, the loads is acting only on a common plane yeah? and all the load must loaded at the nodes or joints so they, they, they will be a force in all these uh, points uh, on the screen here so this example you have a uh, four point point one two three four um, and the load must be acting on all these points uh? um, okay later we will use this diagram as our uh, tutorial question so that we know how to apply. Huh? Okay. Now, if you have a handout, this is the same as your question number 13. So this diagram, uh, we have a truss system, a plain truss system. So if uh, before you start answering the question, uh, make sure you know, uh, understand what, what is the diagram about. So you have uh, four point, one, two, three, four. And all this, and point number one is free to move around. Um, and point two cannot move, point three cannot move, and point four cannot move. Uh, the dimension was given in 10 meter each side. And then uh, element two and element three, uh, the difference is 45. And element three to element four is 45. Um, and the axis, the reference axis was given in the diagram. Uh, you can see from the screen on the right hand side that I highlight with my mouse cursor now. So you will see the Y is positive uh, vertical and uh, X is positive to the right. Yeah? And you have and you can see all the X prime one, uh, X two prime, X prime three and so and in this system we have an external force at point number one, uh, going down. So later in your calculation, this uh, 10,000 Newton, or later you can write uh, 10, uh, 10, zero K N, huh? or, right? uh, and the direction is going down. So later, because our X, uh, Y axis is, is positive going up, so later the value that you write in your calculation will become negative because it's going down. All right, so the question mentioned that uh, we have three elements uh, subject to a down force of 10,000 Newton uh, at point one. So we need to determine the X and Y displacement at not one. We need to uh, uh, determine displacement at here. Okay, so we know that um, before we solve, uh, you need to call the general uh, equation where we learn since our chapter one, which is F equal to KD. 
So never, never forget uh, this uh, important uh, matrix equation. So again, in, in exam, you write this one, you get one mark. Yeah. Okay, let me. Okay, got All right. Um, so the question asks us to find something in this component, huh? displacement. Yeah. So again, um, you need to refer to the axis. So this is X, this is Y. So all the movement to X is U. All the movement or displacement to Y direction is V. And if you're given Z, then the movement will be W. Huh? So be careful on the notation that you use. Uh, this is for the displacement. So later we need to find your V and U, right? Yeah. And then the general notation we, we write will be like, uh, for example, K1, for example, like this. It means this is the matrix for element 1. Okay. And if you write U1X means displacement in X direction in point 1. Okay, if you write uh, v, uh, v1, X, uh, V1Y means uh, uh, displacement in y direction, point one, uh, in y direction, and so on. Okay, this is just a refresh. Uh, e is given, A is given. So uh, these are all the hints before we solve question. So you see E and A means we are dealing with uh, a bar. Huh? Dealing with a bar. So again, if you see spring system, you use Hooke's law, F equal to KX. So if you see a bar, you use uh, the Stiefner matrix, uh, you use the modulus Young and the strain equation, you will get AE over L times the displacement, yeah? <coughs> okay, the derivation, if you're not clear or you forget, uh, go back to the previous slides, yeah? Okay, so these are the general uh, idea before we start to solve. Uh, A is given, so uh, again, when it comes to test, be careful on the unit. Uh, we will try to uh, set some uh, trick on you. For example, we will change the uh, all the dimension to mm, all right? Our favorite is uh, millimeter, so you need to change to meter before you solve. And area, sometimes we will set to mm square also. So you need to change it to meter square. Okay. Right, we start to solve our question. So we look, we, we break the diagram into individual uh, individual element. Okay. So we need be, before we start to to solve, we need to know the angle. So again, um, like previous lecture, we I did ask you some question. For example, the angle uh, direction. So angle is positive when you measure from um, x to x x prime. So this is your global. So let's say this is your local. So angle is positive when you measure from your global to local. Okay, so this is very important, yeah. So let's look at uh, element one. So element one is here, yeah. So what is the angle uh, for element one? Uh, Singi, what do you think? What is the angle uh, theta for element one? If you look only look at element one, this is element one is not. 1 to 2. So what is the angle? 90. 90 degree, yeah. So uh, Lai, you understand why it's 90? Uh, yes. Okay. So this is point 1. Connect to point 2. All right. So uh, this is uh, local, right? This axis is uh, local. So uh, again, this is uh, 
uh, local element. So we are referring to global. So your global is here. So here to here, you measure. This is the angle positive and the clockwise. So 45 plus 45, we get 90 for element one. Okay, uh, Lai, what is the angle for element 2? Forty-five. Forty-five. What is the angle, uh, Lai again, uh, what is the angle for element 3? Zero. Zero, correct. So, yeah, excellent. So, uh, Singy, you understand, right? Why, why 45, why 0? Uh? Yeah. Okay, good. So we have 90, we have 45, we have zero. So this angle is very important when you try to solve because later we will put all this uh, angle into uh, the, the, the stiffness matrix uh, in global scale. So we have all this angle ready and then we need to construct uh, a table to calculate the angle. So I give you this table. So in exam, you prepare this uh, table also. Yeah. You go for element one, two, three, and then the angle you write. So element one is 90 degree, element two is 45, element three is zero degree, yeah? And then, uh, because later on, we, you need to put all these uh, uh, cosine, uh, cos square, sine square, uh, cosine into the matrix, stif uh, the, the, the stiffness matrix. So you calculate in the table first. So for example, for element one, 90 degree, cos 90 is zero. Sine zero, uh, sine 90 degrees is one. Okay, then you use the cos and sine to, to find the other uh, numbers. For example, cos square is zero, sine square is one, cos sine is zero, and then you do for the rest. Um, in exam, if you're not able to give uh, a fraction number like this is fine you give the decimal place but keep to maybe uh, three to four de decimal place uh, for this exam uh, uh, for this module three decimal place is sufficient yeah uh, three decimal place is sufficient um, okay we want just want to see your understanding so um, but however if you're able to put something like that then it will be helpful in your uh, calculation later on so 45, cos 45 uh, will be a uh, square root of two divided by two, sine will be the same. And you times the cos square, you, you take this one square, you get half. Yeah, because you square this one, you get uh, two divided by four, you get uh, half, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for sine also. And you time this two, you will get uh, 0 0.5. Zero cos, cos zero will be one, Sine zero will be zero and so on. Eh? One, zero, zero for cos square, sine square, and uh, cos sine. Okay. So um, we will have uh, a four point here. So each point give you two displacement. For example, point one, point one will give you two displacement in x and y direction. So u1, v1, this is point one, eh? point two here will give you two displacement also. u2, v2, okay, point number three will give you two displacement also. u3, v3, point number four, will give you another two. So this is three, this is four. So you have a U4, V4. So total you have eight degree of freedom. Meaning uh, you, you, you in, the, in the calculation mathematics model, we are looking at eight degree of freedom. So uh, you add all the, all the movement, possible movement in all the point, then you get uh, eight degree of freedom. So uh, from here, in your in your mind, you should able to to see that you need a, a very big matrix which consists of eight times eight matrix. 
this is very big, huh? 8 times x is very big. Okay. It is very big, so it will be, okay. I'll show you in the next slides. Uh, any question on, uh, uh, I think no, no question. We look at uh, next slides. Yeah? Okay, now you call back the general uh, cinematics in four times four uh, uh, format. And if you see cost, sine cost, negative cost in the matrix, it means that you are converting uh, between local and global axis yeah? like what I show you on the first slides uh, before we start uh, this uh, example. So if you look at trust, most of the time we use this uh, equation and then we, by the help of the table that we built just now, we just substitute the value inside the element. Okay. So it, again, symmetry means uh, you look at this diagonal mirror axis and then you copy from another side here. Yeah? So you have one value here, one, uh, one value here, and one value here. And then you copy, for example, this, this corner will be negative CS. Right? It will just uh, reflect. Huh? Uh, then this, this one will be this one. Huh? This one will be this one. This one will be this one. I know. Uh, okay, when you write, uh, okay, this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, well, I'll show you the first example. So you transform this general uh, equation, governing equation, into the first element. So when you write your answer, um, you are looking at uh, element one. So you write k upper one, right? K um, one means element one. So um, you put in all the value. For example, a is given two, e is uh, 30 megapascal. So again, uh, in the exam, sometimes uh, we won't give you the 10 power six, we will write uh, G or M, so giga is power nine, mega is 10 power six. So in this case, it's 10 power six, so you copy. L is 10, it's given here, 10. Yeah. Okay, then all this value you refer to the table. For example, the first one, C square, you refer to the element one only. First column for element one. Don't confuse with other one. So uh, C square, you look at this one, C square equal to zero, so you put zero here, CS is zero, put it here, and then uh, negative C square is zero, V2 is zero, so you repeat for the same. Yeah. So again, what mean by symmetry? It means you just copy for another side. Yeah? So I fill in the blank for you. Yeah? I fill in the, the other side for you. So in exam, you also need to fill in uh, all this, right? So quite straightforward. Um, uh, what else? Uh? Yeah. Any question for the first element? Any question you want to ask me? Okay, good, huh? Okay. Right. Then we repeat for the second element. Same one. Yeah. All right. So then you write now huh? K to oh. All right, K to Then A is two, E is uh, three powers, uh, three, uh, three zero times 10 power six. L is uh, uh, two, two you need to calculate, yeah? So is 10 by 10, so it's a, 
I will draw the screen here. It's a rectangular. Yeah. So 10, 10. So how to get the hypotenuse? Yeah. Is um, square root of 10 square plus 10 square. So I think this is just your uh, trigonometry chapter to find the hypotenuse. So this is your uh, the length of number two. Okay. Then, okay. Uh, Lai, what is the value for uh, element number two for cos square? One over two. One over two, yeah, half, eh? Okay, so I'll just straight away, uh, Singy, I think you understand. So I'll straight away show you the answer, okay? So um, in this case, I will just straight away uh, write in the decimal place, yeah? Uh, because when you try to uh, prepare slide in the decimal fraction, uh, uh, in a fraction order, you need more time to type in all these things. So, uh, so I put in the decimal place like this. Okay, so the L we find by uh, trigonometry, um, 10 square plus 10 square, and then you square root it. And then the rest you just copy from the table above, yeah. So again, um, uh, in exam, you don't need to write this one, yeah. This is just, uh, you don't need to write, yeah. Don't need to write. You don't need to write, yeah. So if you write, you write with a pencil or you write with the other color pen, yeah. Right. So this is just a, a sideboard for you to, to know that uh, this row is for U1, this row is U, uh, v, V1, this is uh, element uh, 3. Okay, so um, yeah, maybe I'll break the matrix for you so that you, could, you can see it more clearly. So, Again, the side also, uh, this one is uh, U1, V1, U3, V3. Why? Uh, okay, we start with the first element. Uh, not so element. First point. This is the second point. Uh, point, uh, point one and second point. However, you refer to the diagram. Um, oh no, this is, we look at uh, the element number two. So it's number two. So Two is connecting point one to point three. So, uh, in your matrix, remember uh, to tie the number here according to the uh, position of the node. So the first two uh, column will be tied to point one. Uh, the two at the behind will tie to the second point here. In this diagram, is point number three. So. Uh, this 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 two column is referred to point number three for element two. Yeah, so I, I backtrack a, a little bit for the previous one. So again, uh, point one, uh, element one is connecting point one and point two. So when you write matrix, remember that all this number was tied to the element. So this is uh, uh, point one, this is point two. So you have a U1, V1, U2, V2. So this is how we write the, the coordinate. Yeah? Uh, how we, uh, because later we, we will combine all this number in the, into a very big uh, uh, matrix. Yeah? Okay, so uh, this is just a, a remark, uh, important that uh, you know how to write the matrix accordingly. Yeah? Because later on in exam, you'll have a complex system, then um, you'll confuse yourself. Okay, so uh, as long as you look at individual element and then you know the point connecting each one of them, then it will be fine. Okay, all right. Uh, by looking at these slides, if you want to look at element number three, okay, the rest will be the same. So two. 10 power 6 and uh, 10. Okay. 
the four number inside the matrix. Okay, this this uh, these two column here is referring to which node? Yeah. So uh, line, the first one is referring to which node? You look at element number three. These two, these two number refer to node what? U one, U two, V two. So your order is U one, U two, V one, V two like that. So this is your answer. This is my answer. Singi, what is your answer for the coordinate of this column? U one. E1, E4, Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Lai, what? If you draw element three, what is the point on the on the left here? Point number. Oh, one. One. On the right, it connect to which point? Four. Four. So, uh, how you relate your answer to number two? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So again, uh, when you write your matrix, the first two columns, okay, this this two, okay, this this column. The first column referring to the, the two, uh, the, these two, refer to point one. Then the another one, another two column, refer to second point, which is number four. Okay, so in exam, don't, don't write the wrong sequence. Okay. So the correct sequence will be because point one, you have U1 and V1. So you write U1, V1 here. Then point number number two is point four in the diagram. So you write U4, V4 in the second here. Okay, U4, V4. Again, in exam, you, you don't need to write all this out, but it will help you when you build the, the, the very big jumbo matrix later on. Okay, so you need to understand all this uh, notation. Lai, you understand now? Yes. Okay. Okay, just to try out a uh, lie. Yeah. So if I want to write a uh, stimulant matrix for number two, this question is for you. Huh? We have again, we have a uh, four number in the matrix. Lie, what is the, the first? column referring to you look at element number two u1 v1 u3 v3 excellent okay good now seems you able to grab it okay we have done for three matrices now all right the rest is just uh, you copy from the table, right? Again, this uh, general equation is very important, right? So every time you see a truss and then you're given an angle, uh, then 
you use this table, yeah. So of course, in exam, you won't see a, a case like this. You will see, um, let me clear the bank. Sometimes you will see, sometimes uh, you will have uh, like that, okay. And the angle is given like that, theta 1, theta 2. So we need to know, uh, for example, this is uh, point one, two, three, four. I label like that. Okay. So I'll give you element one, element two, element three. So you need to know to convert all these element, and then I give you an axis at the bottom. I give you x and y. Yeah. Or maybe I put an x and y axis here. So you need to convert all this into uh, uh, the matrix or, or the table uh, later on. Okay, maybe I'll give you a hint. Uh. So let's say you have a wall. Uh, my question will be on the, uh, my question I will ask, uh, after I finish drawing, is will be on the angle. So later you give me what is your answer. This is just a random number, yeah? Okay, Lai, what is the angle for element one? What is the angle? Negative 20. Negative 20? How you get negative 20? Singi, what is the angle for negative. element 1 in this um, case? If. Yeah, correct. Answer is 90. Why are you under, able to answer? Do you understand why it's 90? The S S is and the the Y is so. How you measure angle? Clockwise or anticlockwise? From where? This is local. This is global. So angle is. Anticlockwise or clockwise, uh, like? Uh, and anticlockwise. Yeah, anticlockwise. So look at this example on the screen. I'm asking you about element one. Where is your yeah. x? Here. Where is your local? Here. What's the angle? 90 degrees. Ah, you measure from here yeah. to here. So it's a positive 90. Yeah. So, okay, I'll ask you again. Uh, element 2. What is angle for element 2? Uh, like, you have 20, 10 here. What is the angle for element 2? 70. How do you get 70? Ninety degree minus 20 degree. Mm. Okay. 
here to here is positive 70. Okay. And, okay, Singy, I think this question for you. Elementary, what is the angle for elementary? Okay, uh, repeat your answer, uh, Singy. Your answer is 60, right? Yeah. Okay, right, because uh, uh, the signal is a break up at your point, huh, Singy. Um, okay. Um, this angle is very important, yeah. So we move on. So back to this example. Okay, so uh, just now we have uh, the matrix for each one of these. So element one, element two, and element three. And um, before we move into a uh, 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 a very big. Uh, Matrix. Let me show you the. Um, we need to um, make sure our constant value be uh, in front of our matrix here. It will be the same because here we have uh, K two. Here the the L is a little bit different from other two, so we cannot uh, directly. Uh, transport into the global matrix. Uh, we, we cannot uh, superimpose into the very big global matrix with this uh, 8 times x matrix. Yeah, so um, we need to change this one. We need to change the bottom one so that it will be the same. Okay. So we will change K2 this one. Yeah. Into this one. You see I changed the uh, actually the, the, the value is still same. I put the square root of two inside the matrix here. So that my constant value in front of my matrix here will be the same with element one and number three. Okay. So just now, how you find your L, your L for element two is square root of 10 square plus 10 square. Yeah. Uh, Singy, can you calculate the number for me for this one? What is the square root of uh, 200? point 14.142. 14, you get 14, right? 14.14, about that. Lah. Okay, so you need to adjust this number to uh, to 10. You need to, you need to uh, adjust this number to 10 times 1.414. You need to convert this number, right, to this number. Okay, 1.414 is square root of 2. Yeah, let me check it is correct. Yeah, correct. So later on, when you um, write the the matrix later on, you will uh, synchronize. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So now I already explained how you get ten square root of two. Because uh, just now you get fourteen point one four. So 14.14, you can write 10 times 1.414. Then you times the 1.414 into here. Okay, so 1.4142 something times 0 0.5. You get 0 0.7071. Okay, so this is how you get the 0 0.7071. Singy, you understand? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lai, you understand? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, again, uh, in exam, it won't be this uh, straightforward 45 degree. It will be like the one uh, 
similar to the one that I just gave you. Uh. So you need to know how to adjust all these constant value to a similar one to this one. Yeah. Okay, then you need to put in a global matrix in this format. Okay. So you have eight degree of freedom. One, this is element one, element two, element three, element four. So again, if you're not sure, you can use your ruler and draw all the number here like a parking lot. Yeah. So uh, quite a lot. Lah. You use your ruler to draw all the for the location. For example, this exact point here. So uh, this side also you write lah. U1, V1, U2. Again, uh, you start with element 1 and then element 2 and so on. So this element will refer to U1 uh element so here also la, u1 v1 u2 v2 and so on yeah so this is u1 times u1 or u1 so is this value okay then you put zero here so the rest is just uh, like a lego you uh, plug into the the location according to the coordinate here. Yeah. So you will see an overlapping of number. Okay, so um, I will left the exercise or homework to you uh, to, 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 to go and practice uh, on these sites. I will give you the answer and then um, if you still find it difficult to uh, plug in, then uh, you come back to me at my uh, at our consultation hour. Okay, so I put in all the value. Okay, so for the first one, you get zero. Put in here. For element two, also have. So in exam, be careful in all these uh, number. So element two, you also have U1 number. It's 0 0.071. Put in here. And then the third one. Maybe here. Put in here. Okay, so in your steps, it will be good if you can uh, write something like that. Uh, something like this so that uh, you you know what you're writing and then you you rewrite the whole matrix again with the total number for example you write the matrix again for this number will become uh, 1.7071 okay uh, you repeat for other other numbers here okay repeat for other number here so i will left the the homework to you so this is just an illustration. Okay. Uh, any question so far? Line or uh, okay. Uh, Singy, okay? Eh? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lie, you okay? Eh? Yeah. So all these uh. You just you just uh, write the each element and then you put in the numbers okay put in according to the location so it's important you write some note above the matrix but it's in exam it's not compulsory yeah it just help you to 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 plug in all these number into the this very big matrix here okay so of course at the side you can write also la u1 v1 u2 v2 and so on here also u1 v1 u3 v3 this one u1 v1 u4 v4 okay then for example this one this number here is referring to u1 uh, u1 so 
you have this one. Okay, for example, I pick this number. So this is uh, U4, U1. So you go to this one, U4, uh, U4, U1, which is you get this number. This is U1. Okay, so U4, U1, you get U4, U1, you plug in this number over here, and so on. So it will take us some time to, to, to do it. Uh, however, if you manage to understand, uh, uh, it, it, it's not a complex thing. It looks complex, but actually it's, it's not. Yeah. So, okay, you put in the matrix here and then you try to find a displacement. Okay, uh, we will, uh, yeah, maybe we'll continue. Uh, we go for a short break. And then we continue for the uh, answer for displacement. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me stop the recording.